lightweight bout between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Tony Ferguson. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the crown and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and there's a kick to the body. Not having that one blocked by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he caught the kick. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch there by Dustin Poirier. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. So 31 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. He's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Beautiful. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Well, missed on that one. Very tricky. Oh, he used oh, that right hand there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Relentless pressure from the top by Ferguson. 90 seconds to go. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Under a minute to go. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. He's done. He's done. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So 